from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Well, we uh, saw some sunshine today. I'd say that's a W in my books. Uh, I don't know about you. If you were down further to the southwest, you see this blue blob, uh, southeast New Mexico, west Texas. That's where our storm system was. Look up here. Uh, South Dakota is warmer than us today, so you know that's kind of wonky. <laughs> usually, usually it's quite the opposite. Usually we're the ones that will be 60, and they're the ones that will be like 20, but... Weather is weird sometimes, right? Here's where we are right now as far as our storm system. It's uh, once again pinwheeling across West Texas. Uh, we have some snow pretty heavy in some locations. That extends uh, west, far West Texas into Southeast New Mexico. Moderate to heavy rain south of Lubbock down towards Midland and then more scattered activity there north of Abilene up towards Southwest Oklahoma. Now that's gradually gonna be moving our direction. Once again, it, it's dilly-dallying around. It's taking its sweet time, but by the time we get into tomorrow, as you're traveling, that'll be kind of right on our lap. We'll see a cold rain for our Saturday afternoon. Highs only near 50, so uh, definitely going to be a cool one. Then Sunday, that kind of scoots on out of here up toward the Great Lakes. We'll see things vastly improved. Sunshine should break out by Sunday afternoon with temperatures still cool, but at least in the lower 50s and maybe a little sunshine at least. So rain chances really ramp up late tomorrow morning more prevalent during the afternoon than gradually tapering off as we head to the overnight hours and then Sunday, Monday, all in all look dry as that scoots on out of here. How much rain could we see? Well, pretty beneficial in some locations. We're seeing good, good indications that a good chunk of the area could see around or more than an inch. So that would certainly be welcome. Drought continues to be a big deal and uh, hopefully we can at least get a little bit of help with that. Your football forecast, game day forecast, still water, definitely need the umbrellas, need the coats in Lubbock, maybe just a sweater or a jacket if you're down at the TU game. Uh, they're going to be down in Houston. That looks like the spot to be, I would say, weather-wise for sure. Then lights on Owasso, that's tomorrow. If you're going out to that, you're certainly going to need an umbrella. We'll see off and on rain. It's going to be chilly as well. That's why tomorrow, not the best day to put up Christmas lights. Maybe just, once again, put the old Christmas tree up. And then Sunday, Monday, you'll be able to put the lights up outside. We're going to get a bit windy on Tuesday. That's going to make things less than ideal to put up Christmas lights. Jinx looking good. You can see downtown Main Street all lit up at this point in time, and that's going to continue to be the case in many of our communities. 47, a little bit of a light north wind, but not too much of that out there. Dew point at 36. Temperatures right now area-wide, 38 in Bartlesville. We've cooled down most other locations, ranging in the 40s to low and mid 50s, warmest down to the south and east of us. Future view overnight brings those clouds in as they thicken up ahead of that next system that arrives tomorrow morning. You can see rain moving in, temperatures upper 30s to low 40s, off and on rain as we head toward the middle of the day. That lasts all day long. We could see some heavy downpours in there, maybe a little bit of rumble of thunder type activity in there as well. But overall, temperatures cool, generally upper 40s to low 50s. By the time we get to 9, a lot of the heavier rain scoots on out of here. We could still see a little bit of wraparound drizzle or sprinkles in the late Sunday night, early, or late Sunday, uh, early Sunday morning, I should say. Having trouble getting that out there. 45 Sunday morning, and then we'll start to clear out those temperatures struggling but maybe getting up into the lower 50s if everything works out correctly for us and we have several more fronts coming through a lot of ups and down temperature wise over the next several days we'll really warm up tuesday big cool down wednesday and then we'll warm up towards next weekend before yet another front arrives it's just kind of that time of year for us we'll just have slight chances of rain with both of those so we really need to get some rain today because after this it's not going to be out of the question but certainly not looking as prevalent in the old forecast here's your forecast as we extend things on out you'll see those temperatures kind of up and down and all over the place uh, with the passing fronts also once again off and on rain chances as we are in an active pattern Tomorrow does look to be very soggy and very chilly, so keep that in mind as you make your plans. So that's it for the weather into things. We'll be right back after.